What's up, guys? Welcome back to our second episode of Insult. I'm here with my man, Fredo. What's up, guys? Heather, but we're at Soul Fire. We got the way Michael Parsons pulling up on us right now, so see what the homeboy picks up. Uh, one mids, if you like those, gold toes, little ones, one C's, ones. Oh, these right now are hot. Yeah, those are hot. Right. I, I saw those, yeah. You got these so right now. Yes, I'm brand new. How much are these? Yeah, I'll do those. Just tell us like, which ones are like potential. Were you always like into shoes, bro, or is it just something you're saying? Like, yeah, like, yeah. Nah, I was just like, I just pick up some shoes here and there, like never really like, grinding at it. Yeah, but, like even in college and stuff, like you were still like picking up shoes or like? Yeah. Who you on right now as far as music? Yeah, I'm always like Drake, Rod Wave. Like. How you feel about the, have you heard of uh, CLB yet or no? Yeah. How are you liking it? Um, is it mid or like, I know there's like a whole bunch of mid, debate with the, the whole facts, bro. Stuff. Come on, say the it's facts. It's like, some songs, it's like, yeah, that's Drake. But I feel like he tried to put too many people future on him. He should have just soloed that Drake. Like, the Joe, the future wasn't that hard. The, the anytime, uh, way too sexy one? Yeah, anytime he just went, it was like fire. Yeah. But some of the, like Dirk and, except for Dirk and Baby, those was tough. But the other ones was just like, I give it like a six, seven. That's one right there. Six, seven. But you definitely got some bangers on it where you're like, damn, man. Yeah. And Drake's one of them people like, you gotta look at the lyrics too. Like, you go be like, damn, he just said some shit. Yeah, like, you gotta break it down. Yeah. Like dissect it and shit and like decode it and see what it is. All right, um, the, the real question Donda or CLB? Definitely CLB. I don't believe that. I don't believe in universe. I don't believe in none of this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he gave me a free pair of shoes. And I was wearing these dunks. I was like, oh shit. These are comfortable as hell. Yeah, and they're nice. And ever since then, I was like, bro, I gotta get my hands on the dunks. Yeah. Now I notice, bro, a lot of people have been hitting us up on the dunks. Like, like no, it's, just, it's just like a. Sells out. It's just a vibe, honestly. Yeah, but well, all these are for sure fire, bro. Trademark just got some stuff from us a couple weeks ago. Those uh, MCAs, the, the blue off white air. Houston legend Paul Wall. Uh, he's about to come into the store. Pro zone Saul. Get on my level. Get on my level. Let me see the camera. You're not on my level. 4 p.m. only. That way, this way, this way, no way. He got the GS Safari joints on his feet, man. <laughs> Check him out. Size 9. Size 9 wide. Legend in the building. Yes, got my boy right here. What it do? Paul Wall, how you doing, man? Yes, so good, okay. man. Yeah. Appreciate you for stopping Thank by, man. Thanks for having me, man. Thanks for having me. For sure, for sure. Yes, sir. I'm right, right on time, too. We was in the club right now. <laughs> Where y'all got to? I dress with a little pepper on my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> How you like Dallas? I love it. I love the DSL. Back when I was in high school, I couldn't afford Jordans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All my life growing up, until I you know, started making money. I, so I was on Reeboks, $20 shoes. So yeah. you know, I went through a phase, once I could afford it, you know, to buy all of them. Now yeah. I'm at a phase where I'm buy the other shit. The other shit. Is there any Jordans that like you kind of like stand out to you? Like maybe the ones, the uh, threes, fours, or yeah, something? Yeah, the fours. I like the fours a lot. The 11s, because the 11s were the, were the first okay. ones I, I bought. Yeah. It's Fred's? The first, yeah, this is the first pair I ever bought right here. Iconic. These are the first pair. Those are crazy. Those are iconic, bro. You can't. Those are just classic. Uh, ones, you wearing those or no? Yeah, I got a few of those because those be like my, my go to when I be like uh, semi dressing nice. Yeah. Like tennis shoes, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like you know what I'm saying? If I'm on date night with my wife and want to eat steak, you know, I might put on some ones. Okay. Uh, How do you feel about like shoes now, like reselling and stuff like that? Like, 
hey man, that's what it's all about. Cause some of us love it, some of us don't. You know, so it's like shit. The people that want it, hey, we want it. Let us get it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, because I mean, some of these shoes can go yeah. up to like the thousands, bro. Yeah, it's crazy, and, especially man. like the Travis stuff. It's crazy. So you're already aware of like yeah. of these prices yeah. and like what, what these yeah. people are doing. Some of it, you know, for me, it's still like, you know, I'm all about you know what I like. What are you big on right now? I know you said Air Maxes, but yeah, like Air any Maxes. other shoes that like maybe you're like I'm always wearing these. Oh, uh, just not Jordan. I've been like on a I'm not. A, I haven't been anti Jordan. It's just been all the Jordans. The Jordans I already been wearing. So unless I unless it's something like the Travis Jordans, I wear the Travis Scott Jordans because them old. Which ones? The ones yeah, or the the, ones. the both, fours? Both of them. <laughs> sixes, got the yeah. sixes too. This is crazy. I you know I remember the time where it was just. One shoe to choose from, that's it. Yeah. And comfort was not in the consideration nor style. Uh Kanye bro, I know you you know oh, worked yeah. on him on his on his old yeah. shit. Um, yeah, yeah, man. How do you feel about him? Shit, I mean, shoe man. wise, maybe person wise, I don't know if you still keep it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know everybody be saying that. Yeah, 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 this whole thing. Uh, nah, I got number love with Kanye, man. Yeah, shit. He's the, he's the man. Shit. To see him like you know, he want, he want the people to put himself out there too, you know what I'm saying? So people talk about him, but then he break all the barriers for everybody to come behind him. Yeah. So to see all the rap artists, stylists, you know what I'm saying? Entrepreneur, whatever you want to call it, that came after him. You know, there was some before as well, but it was, shit, when he came with it, yeah, he broke the doors down. So it's definitely dope to see, you know what I'm saying? Because you see, you know, companies that would look down on hip hop or hip hop artists, now they going running to the hip hop artists and they used to pay them crumbs and now they begging them paying them whatever yeah like the design yeah. shoes like just bring creativity yeah. just because it's right. game um how that i don't know if they ever asked you bro how'd that go with kanye like back in like late oh, registration shit. days how no, did that how did that come, that was come about as fuck. i met him at a, a magazine photo shoot and we got to uh you know kick and meet each other we got to be pretty cool i actually met him a grill at the photo shoot too but then uh -huh. you know his, his a and r and tried to sign me, and we still kept in contact. He's pretty cool. This guy named Plain, Plain Pat. Plain Pat, he, he managed Kid Cudi as well. Okay. So that's how a lot of people know. But he, he ain't our Kanye. And he was like, hey, I seen y'all. You linked up. You made his real man. I got the song. Why don't you jump on the song? Of course. I'm like, shit. Oh, he you know, invited you to the, the, yeah, the show? Okay. Yeah. So I, shit, I jumped on the song, and you know, he was like, hey, look. He might not like it, he might like it, we might not use it. Uh -huh. Let's just do a verse, see what he say. Yeah. I did a verse, sent to him. I did it at my studio in Houston. And he was like, hey, he fucking with it. He like it. <laughs> shit, I made the cut, boy. I was I remember DJ Drama called me. He was like, hey, you want Kanye album? I said, shit, I, I think so. I don't know. Is it out yet? I don't know. I mean, I ain't gonna believe it until it's out. Yeah, shit. yeah. Even now, I ain't gonna say nothing. He might take me off of that moment. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> shit. So yeah, I said, shit, yeah, I think I'm on there. He said, yeah, you know that on this album. I'm like, oh man. Then they then he let me, then he's so real. He let me put it on my album too, the same song. Oh, for real? Yeah, he let me put it on my album People's Channel, which is unheard of. It's called Hall of Fame Hustler. It comes out next Friday. Okay. I got my boy Slim Thug, Lil Kiki, Zero, Usual Suspects uh -huh. you know, on there. My boy Happy Perez did some production on there. Uh, you know, some of my other homeboys, 5'9", June James, uh, just a little bit of everybody. Okay. Uh, just Hall of Fame Hustler. You know? What should we expect from you? Just uh, some, some more of the same, you know, the usual, just that go-getter music, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's going to be a bunch of that go-getter music. All right, for sure, for sure, bro. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, make sure to listen to it and, you know, get the boy coming. Yes, sir. Micah came in, he ended up copying four shoes and a couple shirts. Uh, he left with Amar Manier 3s, UNOV Dunks, Medium Curry Dunks, and Off-White Dunks, Lot 12. We also had Paul Wall cashing out on some uh, Yeezrail 350s and some Pollen uh, Jordan 1s. So I'm gonna show you guys what we just got in this week and I'm gonna start off with the Shimmer 4s. Um, I definitely think this is a dope shoe. Uh, I wish they made extended women's sizes because this is like a, it's like an alternate Off-White 4. I mean, if you don't, don't want to drop $2,000 on a pair of shoes, this is where to go. Uh, we also, got a full-size run-in on our Lightning Forest, so if you need these bad boys, you know, come in to Soul Fire and come get those. So this week we also got a pair of the Seafoams. 
This is a really good colorway. Uh, it was a really good su summer colorway, but uh, they didn't release it during the summer. We're at the end of summer, actually, so uh, it's a really good colorway. They didn't make them in extended sizes, but if you want to come get your pair, we got some over here. Yo, Carson, what do you think about this shoe? Check it. I definitely think this is a, it's a dope colorway. Um, I'm kind of glad they kept it a kid's shoe. Um, I don't know, I'm not really feeling it on me, but for a girl, I could definitely see the potential. Uh, I think it's a nice shoe for a girl, especially if you have a couple, you know, for a girl. So I might be copping these for my girl. Uh, this, you know, Valentine's Day is not around the corner, but it'll have its value by then. So yeah, it's a really good colorway. All right, what about these? Uh, these are sick. Definitely that Stussy, Stussy vibe, however you want to say it. I uh, hear both ways. Um, I wish they made my size. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. They have this little silver edition right here. Um, but yeah, pretty dope woman shoe. I mean, I really see the value going up in I mean, a couple months, just like all the other ones. Mm -hmm. For me, probably on pass. Not really liking the colors, gray and pink. Mm. Uh, I think it's a really good color. I mean, it's really, you know, soft and stuff. Uh, right now, it's really affordable as well. So, you know, you can still cop for a really good price. All right, cool, cool, cool. We got a little, little special treat right here. What do you think about those? They're the cool man. I mean, of course, I'm gonna say they're cool because they're a union collab. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the two colors. I don't really think that they mix and match together. But um, yeah, I mean, it's dope. If you got them for retail, I'd say keep it. Why not? I mean, resale is not really that high. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I mean, they're it's an alright. It's a good shoe, you know, for have. It's pretty. I wish I had these, but my friend wanted to pay me, uh, give it to me for a good price. But I think it's good. Uh, this is probably my least favorite colorway out of the four with the Union collab, the Jordan 4. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be really hard to wear. You know, those two colors are really weird. Yeah, it just, it doesn't match. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Alright. Next up. Now I'll say this Union colorway, uh, the Tope, Tope, however you want to say it again. Um, this are sick. Uh, I'd give these probably the two out of the four. I'd probably put the Guava Ice at number one. Um, definitely a dope colorway. I mean, material is pretty nice as well. The combination of colors goes well, but I mean, yeah, I definitely cop. Uh, I don't like these. This colorway. Why? What's so funny? Anyways, I don't like these bright colors. Uh, this one is actually my second favorite out of the four. Uh, I like the earth tones on it, you know, sets the blue sets, you know, the tone right as well. So seems like an easy shoe to wear. I like this one. Okay, we'll switch it up now. Yeah, uh, Donda was lit, bro, but yo, these are not it. Um, if your name is Daniel Escobar, I definitely, you know, pull out your closest trash and just toss those right in there. But other than that, dude. Yeah, these need to stay in the box. Matter of fact, in the storage room at finish line, man, because that's not it for me. Yeah, I gotta agree with Carson. These are just the same color as any other shoes I can throw in trash. This is not a bad shoe. Colors are different. Actually, no, he has like five different colors. I mean, the good thing about this one is that, you know, has a little bit of color changing with UV, but it's just really, really small details. Not it. Yo, Carson. Oh, <laughs> I take, bro. What do you think? Oh, wow. <laughs> no, trash shoot for me. What you think, brother? Oh, shoot. Oh, dude. <laughs> my bad. My bad. <laughs> check, check, you. check. One, one, two, two. Check, check. My name is Fred, and I own a supplier. I also own frescas, and I sell cinnamon rolls in number 12 pops across a day. I need you to come out with love. You guys, well, we're back. <laughs> yeah, what do you do, man? What you up to? Just working. The only size 15 that he's ever seen. So, I mean, <laughs> you've never seen another guy wear size 15. So, you have topes, I mean, sand topes.
All right, guys, so right now we just picked up a size 12 Lightning 4. We picked up a size 12 Grateful Dead SB, the yellow colorway. We picked up an 8.5 Zion 350. Picked up a Biohack 7. We picked up a Sand Taupe 350, size 10. A Carbon 350, size 10. And we also picked up an Inertia, size 14. Uh, the guy came out pretty happy with uh, what we offered him, so, you know. Another dollar another day? You know how it goes. Check the audio. Check the audio. Wrong way. What are you trying to do? Face it towards me. You gotta like, like yeah. Exactly. <laughs> What's up, guys? Yeah. Uh, we're good. At an angle. Yeah, we need a wider angle. That's it. See? It's only goes. So there you go. I don't think we're gonna be walking with this right now. No, we're not. I'm just saying. Oh, sometimes they do this, right? That's why they like, yeah. they have like those things. Yeah. Selfie stick. <coughs> Bro, you seem like the milk boys and just hire a cameraman and just follow you all day. That's what they do? Yeah, they just have a camera guy. That they don't have Nino anymore, that's why. What? Yeah. They don't have Nino. That, that, that. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with the...